Yo, what is up guys, Orctify here. Today I'm going to give you my top tips on how to win the World Cup. Since there is 10 weeks, you can try out all these tips, try them in different sections, try them in different games, do whatever feels most comfortable for you. But for number one, I'm going to say consistent drops. Make sure you and your partner, or if you're going to do the solos, just you by yourself, consistently drops in the same place every time now when you consistently drop in the same place you're gonna be able to learn the the chest routes and also where other people are gonna land so if you consistently land in say dusty different where i land i consistently try and land at one spot so that i know my route on how to get chests and i also know if someone drops somewhere where i'm gonna be able to cut them off and potentially get an easy early game kill now when you're dropping consistently, also make sure to land on a gun. Don't land on a chest. Now that chests especially are extremely RNG in this game in total is just RNG, I would definitely try and land on a gun since that's going to be your best bet on attempting to kill a player early game, especially if they land with you. And if you see a player doesn't land on a gun and they land in the middle of nowhere because they messed up their drop and you got a gun, try and pressure them early game, especially if they didn't have a gun because that's a free kill and an easy point early game. And then obviously you're going to get some health and um, some mats for that. So that's definitely my number one tip. Another thing I see a lot of players missing out on is if they get a kill late game and they're rotating, they don't pick up their mats. I think that's a really big thing is if you kill someone late game, make sure to pick up their mats even if you have to go in zone for a few seconds picking up their mats is going to be way more important than 20 to 30 health because if you run out of mats you can't go up a hill or you can't protect yourself then that's an easy kill for someone else so make sure you're picking up everyone's mats that you kill and try to pick up as much loot end game as you can because with that 1500 mat cap that's going to be super important when you're trying to rotate Another super important tip that came from my teammate Kenny's is make sure that if you don't think you can win a fight or you're just pushing people early game to push people for points, I would definitely say to back off. That's something huge that Kai and I definitely need to work on and we have been is if we see a fight and we're trying to third party it or we just see one duo and we think we could take them and then it ends up turning they have better guns and more shield than us, definitely just try and back off and try to play for the late game points. The late game points are definitely going to get you the most points, especially when people are rotating late game. A lot of players forget to look to their sides or look up above them and you can get a lot of easy shotgun kills late game so i'd definitely say if you see people early game just try to avoid them as much as you can it'll only be one or two points and it could end up costing you the whole game so i definitely be careful with that that's another huge point is make sure that you try to get away from those fights if you don't think you can win them even if you know for 100 percent fact you can win them if you're a little bit low on shield or your guns aren't that good they you never know what they have they could always turn the tables on you and definitely ruin your game so just be careful of that be weary try to work on that i know it's hard not to push people because in pubs you know all you think is push 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 but definitely for these you're going to want to go for end game points and you're definitely going to try to get those easy rotate kills so i definitely say be careful on the early game fights by third or fourth zone, you should pretty much know where the zone is going to be and you can kind of guess it at that point. Most times it's going to go to the center of the map and then it's either going to go to the right side or left side when it gets to like the fifth zone. So make sure you kind of just guess them. And even if you're on the other side of the map, if you have rotations, you should be fine if you have a launch pad or you have a rift or something. But if you don't, make sure to try to rotate late game while other players are trying to rotate. You can rotate at the back of the zone where people aren't really going to be looking unless they're at the front. So you just have to be wary of where the zones are and make sure that you're rotating good. A great way to find out when to rotate and how to rotate well is by watching pro players such as the 72 hours chap um, the whole phase roster just kind of watch and review clips of old tournaments or scrims that they play in and just kind of watch what they do and really understand um, their play styles when it comes to zones because that's something really big if you can learn the zones and learn how to rotate when to rotate that'll get you some easy kills and it'll also get you really good placement points my next step is find out what works best for you uh, when it comes to high ground low ground or mid ground I personally love mid ground i don't like staying low ground just because the imperfections in the floor sometimes sometimes you can get trapped under your own floors or if you have to go up a mountain it's easier if you're mid ground for sure but mid ground does use the most amount of mats so make sure if you are staying there you're definitely getting kills and getting mats from those players i think it's super important to find out which works for you because if you're high ground but you never really pay attention um when people are trying to shoot you down or you don't have a glider or something that could really cost you the game and cost you a lot of points and then if you're mid ground uh people can easily rpg you down to low ground and then they can wipe you off from there so you really have to pay attention and make sure you know which one works for you best i know a lot of people like high ground because you don't have to use as many mats and you'll just have to worry about people under you and it's super easy to take shots at them and then some people like low ground because you don't have to worry about anyone under you you just got to look up the whole time but obviously that's up to you and that's something you really need to work on before the tournament starts or even since it does start tomorrow make sure just to work on it because there is 10 weeks in this whole tournament so make sure just to keep working on it and kind of figure out what works for you and your duo the best 
My second tip is definitely a no brainer, but warm up before you play. Make sure to get an hour or two before and getting creative, warm up with 1v1s, and then if it's the duos event, make sure to warm up with your teammate, consistently dropping at the same spot and then playing for endgame. I think warming up with your teammate, especially if it's duos, is huge because you want to get to learn what they do. If you're a new duo or even if you have been duos for a while, you want to get to learn what they do and how well you guys work together and make sure that you're just really playing for those points. So make sure you guys warm up before the tournament. That's super important. Those were my top tips for winning the World Cup. Of course, if you do have any suggestions, please leave them down in the comment section below. Make sure to respond to other people if they do have any questions. I'm going to respond to as many people as I can. It's been your boy Arctify. I appreciate you guys coming to the video and watching it. Make sure to leave a like, drop a sub, and make sure to share with your friends if you did find it helpful. I'll be streaming today, and I'll be streaming the World Cup. I probably won't be streaming the finals of each tournament, just because I want to get as many frames as I can late game. But I'll definitely let you guys know over my Twitter at Orctify. Also, make sure to follow me on Instagram if you do want to see some sweet clips that I don't post anywhere else. Um, I really do appreciate you guys coming to the video. Have a wonderful day, and I'll catch you guys soon. Deuces, and good luck. Bye-bye. Pull up smelling like the gas, yeah, you know it's us Girl, sip it, sir, a booty twerking on my tour bus Three deep in the two-seat, foot up in the clutch Three deep in the two-seat, yeah, yeah